So the one the thing that I thought was a game, is it might not be a game, which is this. I thought this was a game and it's not. It's just a book on the whole system. Oh, it's just a manual. So there's 20, what I say, tw there's 22 games. These are like interactive games. They got like game pieces and weird shit. Yeah, these are definitely cool. Yeah. All right, so I'm on my way right now to go to Chicago. I'm meeting up with somebody that I messaged on Facebook Marketplace. He's having an estate sale. I asked him if he had any video games and he sent me a picture of some. So he sent me a picture of a Magnavox 300. It's an Odyssey 300 as well as an Odyssey 2 with a bunch of video games. These are very vintage, vintage video games. They're from the 70s. A lot of people probably don't know about them but they are big sellers, they do sell well. He said everything works and he'll take a hundred bucks. So if everything checks out, I'm gonna buy these because some of these video games go for 30, 40 bucks each and I should be able to no problem get about three, four hundred dollars if I can get this for a hundred bucks. So I'm on my way right now to go pick those up now. How you doing? Are you Joe? Yep. I'm Chris. Okay. Message about the game system? Yep. Let me uh let me get these out of here real quick. Let me shut this. I got them in my car across the street. Okay. Coach, you bring your muscle with you? Did I rob you? <laughs> I woke him up. <laughs> he slept over at my house actually. Because I told you I got just got him from Boston. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he, he drove me home from the airport. The, the 200, the yellow one, Yeah. I don't know if it works. I have the, the TV adapter for it, Okay. but I don't know if it works. This one, the 300. This one, I don't know if it works. I mean, it, um, but this one, this is, 19, this is from 19, the 70s. Whose was it? My buddy. Your buddy? Yeah, so he, he was 74 when he passed away six months ago. Okay. But he grew up in this house. Yeah. And he was, he was a bachelor. Okay. So like the third floor up there is a game room with a four-person sauna, steam shower, hot tub, yeah. heated floor, solarium. It's yeah. fucking badass. But he died. Do you have any other video game stuff? No, we, some Wii shit, I sold it for a hundred bucks. Gotcha. It had all the adapters for like the tennis rackets and yeah. baseball bats and yeah. you know, the driving things. It had all the adapters. And you know, we don't go for much anymore. No. So guys like, I'll give you a hundred. I'm like, fuck it, it's yours. Yeah. You know, yeah. Just like you with this, I'm like, I'm just, yeah. you know. This is definitely go really through cool. every game or not. I'll just take a quick look. Yeah. So the one the thing that I thought was a game, is it might not be a game, which is this. I thought this was a game and it's not. It's just a book on the whole system. Oh, it's just a So there's 20, what I say, 20, there's 22 games. Yeah. But these are like, these, ga these games here are like, these are like interactive games. They got like game pieces and weird shit. Yeah, these are definitely cool. Yeah. And this is the box for the system? That's a, the system's a, in there? Yeah, the system's in here. That's the whole system. I didn't put it back in the plastic. Yeah. But all the instructions, everything's in here. Cool. This works, I know. Okay, cool. So, it's definitely cool, yeah. 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 I'll take it. I'll take it. It's one <laughs> way to come from Boston to not take it. <laughs> <laughs> I just sold my house in Oak Forest. I, that's where I grew up. Huh. I, uh, I was right across the street from the, Dun, the George Dunn Golf Course. Yeah. The yeah. Bet Court. Yeah, right over there. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Cool. I just sold my house. Thanks. All right, man. Appreciate bucks. it. It's all yours. All right. Take it easy. All right. No problem. You too, guys. Thank you.
This is an Odyssey Magnavox 300. It came out in the mid 70s. The competition to the Odyssey would be the Intellivision or the Atari. This was included with the Odyssey 2 purchase. He gave me the Odyssey 300. This is a different console. It came out earlier than the Odyssey 2. This is a TV converter that it came with. So you can connect it to any TV that you might need back in the 70s. And this is the console itself. It is kind of dirty. I don't know if it works, but these do go for a little bit of money. But this was just included with the Odyssey 2 purchase with all the video games. So he just threw it in. So in this box is the Odyssey 2 with all the games. Here is the Odyssey 2 itself. I am a huge fan of the box artwork. It's just very, very retro looking. And for it being one of the first video game consoles to come out, it really does a futuristic vibe to it. Inside is the console itself. It's in really good condition. He took care of it. The guy I bought it from said it was his friends who passed away and he was a big video game nerd and he had a bunch of video games in his own video game room in his house and this was one of them. So as you can see it kind of is like the Atari but it also kind of looks like a computer or a typewriter. There's a lot of parts to it and there's a lot of uh, technical aspects to it as well. It is very very crazy looking. I'm going to plug it in as well. He said it does work, but I wanted to test it to see if it does work. But I think it's really cool that it came with the box. The box is by far my favorite part. But let me show you guys the games. So here's all the games it came with. I think there's three big box games. And those go for maybe $30 to $50 a piece. And then all these smaller games, they're all complete in box with the manuals. And they're all in really good condition as well. That's why I wanted to pick up this. I know a lot of vintage stuff like Atari doesn't go for much, and this included, but since it was in such great condition, it's going to go to a collector that's going to pay a premium for it, so that's why I really wanted to pick it up. I only paid $100 for everything as well, and some of this stuff gets high up there. Some of the games themselves go for about $20 or $30 each, but it all depends on which games they are, but everything is in really good condition and everything looks really cool i'm a big fan of the old computer technology vibe that's going on the the futuristic aspects to everything thinking that this was the future uh, the same thing with atari as well they kind of uh also branched off into that as well because atari has a lot of space games just like the odyssey 2 as well as the intellivision I'm just going to go through the box to show you guys which games that this came with. Like I said, they're all complete in box, very good condition, and they do have the manuals as well. I'm not sure if I wanted to keep any of these for my collection because I'm not the biggest fan of collecting super vintage stuff. I'm a, big, I'm a bigger Nintendo fan, so I have a lot of Nintendo stuff in my collection, but these are definitely cool nonetheless. I'm sure whoever buys these is going to be very happy because these are very good copies. Like the boxes are super mint. It's it's crazy that the condition that this guy had his stuff in. You can definitely tell he took care of it. Here's the manual for the Magnavox Odyssey 2 as well as a computer intro, which is very cool. It talks about binary and how the computer system works itself and how this is the future and it's kind of crazy and overwhelming, but super cool nonetheless. There's some more games in here. I think there's about 20, like I said. There's a lot of sports games. There's not much to these games as well. They're just like Atari games. There's not much going on, on the screen, but the artwork on the boxes are super cool. I know this game's about... $25, $30. Let me show you the big box games. So these have a little more moving parts to them. This is a really cool manual. And there's like game pieces to these. I think each big box game is about $40 if I'm not mistaken. But this is what I'm talking about with the futuristic vibe. I mean, this is very, very cool. 
This is very reminiscent of the Voyager missions that NASA had. I think they just make everything look very, very futuristic and very, very, very cool. So yeah, like I said, these big box games are going to be the majority of the money. And all the pieces are in here. Let me show you guys. Yeah, these aren't even used. Very good condition. And this is actually like a board game too. So they really, really thought a lot of these games through when making them. And I couldn't even imagine playing one of these in the 70s. It would be seriously mind boggling that something like this was created. Conquest of the world. These are game pieces. The same super cool gold labels. Very cool. And a lot of game pieces as well. And they all look like they're in very good condition. I'm not totally sure how much this whole lot is. Like I said, I paid $100 for it, but I saw some complete listings on eBay of these video games, about a lot of 20 of them, going for almost $200. The Odyssey 2 itself with the box and the manual can go up to $200, as well as the Odyssey 300 that I should be able to get around 50 bucks for. But I'm gonna see if these work and I'm gonna make sure I include that in the listening because I think a lot of people want these to work. Before the video ends, I wanna let you guys know that I'm going to be doing another giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. I'm going to be giving away Pokemon Stadium, complete in box, big box. This is a very good condition copy from my own personal collection. I don't wanna give it away because it was hard to find one of these, but you guys have been giving me so much support that I just wanted to show the love back. At 5,000 subscribers, one lucky subscriber is gonna win this Pokemon Stadium from my own personal collection. To enter the giveaway, it's gonna be just as easy as the last one. Make sure you like this video, you are subscribed because I'm going to be picking one lucky subscriber once I hit 5,000. And make sure you leave a comment down below telling me the best find that gave you the most adrenaline at either a garage sale, yard sale, estate sale, flea market, Facebook marketplace, anything. Just leave a comment and let me know what really got your blood pumping when you found something. And I'm going to pick one lucky subscriber to win this Pokemon Stadium complete in box. Make sure you guys are subscribed so that you can have a chance to win the Pokemon Stadium giveaway once I hit 5,000 subscribers. Make sure you guys join the Krisky Resale Discord. It is a reselling Discord and we give tons of information on how to be a good reseller. Doesn't matter if you're an old or a new reseller, make sure you join that Discord because it is free. Make sure you guys check out my eBay link. I'm gonna leave that in the description below. A lot of the things that I do find, I do sell on my eBay. Make sure you guys check out my other videos because I have a ton of other videos on reselling as well as going to garage sales and finding old video games or Pokemon cards or anything like that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you in the next one.